if you observe in my application i am having some some other fields is there that is gender and the department for the gender we are having radio buttons on the departments i am having check boxes how can we go ahead and fill the data for these genders or departments or radio buttons on the check boxes now there we will use for the radio buttons where hang the action select radio button in window let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now if you see the parameter radio button which radio button which we need to select as part of the automation there i am having ui elements for that i am going to select radio button mail over here and then i am going to click on select so what will happen this action will select the radio button that is related to the mail of the particular radio button all right let me click on save now we are having set checkbox state in window there are multiple departments we can select it as part of that application right so how can we select that one there is one action that we have that is set checkbox state in window let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace there if you see the parameters i am having checkbox which checkbox we need to check now i am going to select it department over here as a ui element and then i am going to click on select so what it will do if you see over here set checkbox state to there are two operations that we have one is you want to check or uncheck nothing but if the checkbox is already checked then if you want to uncheck then you are going to use uncheck or if you want to select the checkbox as true then you are going to select checked operation now in my case i am going to use check operation over here and then i'm going to click on save now i can select multiple check boxes as part of our application so that what i'm going to do i'm going to select one more check box over here by giving by selecting the ui element as software and then i'm going to set the check box status to checked only now let's run the flow to see the output for the check box as well as the radio button how it is going to be behaving flow execution started it started filling the data inside the fields employee name employee id and now if you see the gender it has been if you see the pointer over there it has been selected gender male and the departments it has been selected it and the software all right and it is started filling the remaining fields over there and now if you observe in the job location and the designation i am having some combo boxes over here nothing but you can have the list of the items and then you can select the respective item over there from that check from that combo box now if you see the job location and the designation i am having the combo boxes how can we go ahead and fill that by using power automate desktop there we are having set drop down list value in window let's drag and drop this action onto the workspace first we'll see the parameters over here one is the drop down list which list you want to select for this drop down list value in window there we will select the drop down list of the values which we have for the job location you can see over here i'm having combo box over here that is related to the job location so that i'm going to select that over here in the ui elements and after that i'm having operation there are three types of operations which we have as part of this set drop down list value in window one is cleared selected option select option by name select option by index now first of all we will see select options by name what it will do it will select the names based on the value option name i'm going to give it over here as hyderabad and then i'm going to select i'm and then i'm going to click on save now we will see how it will behaves for the combo box let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now if you see over here for the job location it has been given as hyderabad over there why we have given the option over here select option by name that's the reason it has been selected and given the job location over there all right now i will make a small change over here by index how can we go ahead and do that if you see over here i am having another operation by index so what it will do it will gives the ordering position like 1 2 3 and so on so that based on the values it will select 
the indices values it will select the values and then it will be displayed over here all right let me show you that by running the flow now if you see flow execution has been started and it will replace all the values over here if you see it is starting replacing the values you can see the pointer over there how it is how beautifully it is moving over there i'm not doing anything it's automatically goes ahead and you can see over here now the job location if you see i have given the value as one so that it's drop down it has automatically selected and then it's selected the value as chennai now i will do the same thing for the designation let me drag and drop one more set drop down list value onto the workspace and there i'm going to select the drop down list value now over here if you see the operations what i'm going to do i'm going to select by indices over there over here the indices i'm going to give it as two and then i'm going to click on save now let's run the flow to see the output for the designation flow execution has been started and you can see it started populating the data and if you see the job location i have given based on the indices so that the job location has been selected chennai in the same way you can see the mouse over there the designation i have given it as two so that it has given senior system engineer for the designation all right now for the submit button also we will select press button in window let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace at the end of the flow let me drag and drop this action and now i am going to select the ui element over there now what is the ui element that we have that is submit button right let me select that and then i'm going to save it all right now finally we'll see how it is going to be executing the flow by using power automate desktop as part of form filling actions let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see it start filling the data for the employee name and after that employee id gender departments you can see it and the software it is starts giving the address over there as andhra pradesh and it started selecting job location contact number and the designation it has been senior system engineer and finally email id and then it will start clicking on that submit button once you select this submit button it will gives thank you for the registration mr or mrs amir bashappi all right now let me click on okay manually i hope you understand how to work with ui automation to interact with the desktop or windows application by using form filling actions as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day